Uh, salvaged wood represents an incredible treasure we have in our country of absolutely unmatchable quality wood that is hard, strong. In fact, the longleaf pine was the strongest and the hardest of the 77 species we had in this country and it's practically commercially extinct. That means it can't be found anywhere anymore. These are trees that live to be 125 feet tall and four or 500 years old. The quality of that growth means that they could live for four or 500 years after they're cut down. New wood, if it's grown in 20 to 30 years, might have a 10 to 15 year life expectancy in the weather, at the most, maybe five, generally. Longleaf pine can be exposed to the weather for 100 years and we can take it down and build a house out of it. And it can be exposed to the weather for another 100 years. It's like cypress, which is another thing we find regularly. Salvage lumber is the best of the old growth, the treasure that was in this country, abundant when we came. And because of that, wasted and shipped all over the world for building. People don't understand in Texas, in 1917, we exported 1.2 billion board feet of lumber out of the state to Venezuela, all up to the north, to the development of the Mississippi, all the warehouses in the Mississippi, all the way up to as far as even Chicago. This was the best wood there was left. And as Texas was being exploited, by the lumber industry back in those days, the lumber barons who didn't even have to pay with a dollar bill. They paid with company store credits until the legislature in Texas passed a law saying they had to use cash in the 1930s. And by then they'd run out of wood and they ran off to the Northwest because it was cheaper labor and they could rape and pillage all the forests over there like they had in Texas. Mm -hmm. So it's a rare time that we had that treasure. We exploited it as a society to create the world that we have all grown up in and now we're throwing it away instead of understanding we can't match it we can't make the hardware now the respect for our elders who gave their heart and soul their blood their sweat their tears to build these houses before the days of loans they built them out of cash they built them out of their savings they built them out of their pockets their hard work their families to put these houses together by hand. They didn't even have electricity when a lot of these were born. So we're taking part that and respecting the energy it took and the trees and the materials. And with that, building something that seven generations from now, your children will look back and go, oh my goodness, look at this stuff. We'll never ever see trees like this. Where'd they come from? And understanding that the children, 12 years old, dug the coal out of the mines to make the hardware that we use to build our houses and children, 12 years old, sharpen the blades on the saws that basically cut all the wood that we build out of. So this is an report, important thing about it. Respect our past, respect our future, and do it in a tiny, conservative, self-sustaining fashion. That's the principle behind what salvage lumber means to me and what these represent is how can we use it and this is the proof of what we can do with it.